Hey what's up guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on C++ programming. In the previous video tutorial we saw a many driven program which performed arithmetic operations. Now in this video tutorial we'll see a C++ program that tells whether our number is even or odd. So let's start with the programming. Okay so as you can see on the screen I've written the question in the comment section on the top. So it says write a program to check whether a given number is odd or even. Now below as you can see I have typed in the basic template that is the basic hash include iostream and the boilerplate that is required to actually run a program so the int main function etc etc so that is the basic necessity so go ahead and open up your IDE and type in the following code it's better that you type along with me so that you get a good practice so now the next thing we need to do is we need to actually take an integer input from user so I'll type in C out and I'll ask the user to enter a number enter a number so I'll create an integer variable as int num and I'll take the input by typing c in then accession operator and the variable name so here I'll take the input from user Okay, so I have just taken the input from the user. Now in order to determine whether a number is even or odd, the basic logic is that if the number is divisible by 2, it is an even number. And if the number is not divisible by 2, it is an odd number. So there are only two conditions and both are mutually exclusive. That is if a number is even, it cannot be odd and vice versa. So in previous video tutorials, we saw modulo operation. So what a modulo operator does is, it gives us the remainder of the expression. So for example, if I write 3 mod 2, the result would be 1. Because 3 is not directly divisible by 2 and it will give us a remainder as 1. When we divide it and you can check it by actually performing the division, you will be left with a remainder of 1. So modulo operator gives us the remainder rather than the quotient. So this we can use to actually check whether a number is even or odd. So how do we do that? So let me just type in and to check a condition, we know we use the control structure that is the if else control structure in this case because we are going to process an expression and it does not work in switch case because in switch case we need a constant value to check. But here we have to check a condition which is going to be an expression. So I'll type in if and inside this I'll type the condition that we need to check. So I'll type in num mod 2 equal equal to 1. Sorry this has to be num mod z equal equal to 0 num mod 2 equal equal to 0. Okay so what did I just do over here? So suppose the user enters the number 3. So in this condition it will check 3 mod 2 is equal equal to 0 or not. Now this is the relation operator and when we compare it, it will either give us true or false. So as you know the if, if else condition takes two values that is true and false. So if the condition is true, the if, if part is executed. And if the condition is false, the else part is executed. So what will happen is when we enter the number 3, it will check 3 mod 2 equal equal to 0. Now we know 3 mod 2 is not equal to 0 because it is equal to 1. So it will execute the else part. And since we know that 3 is not divisible by 2, we can say that it is a odd number. So that is the logic behind checking whether a given number is even or odd. So I just have to type C out the number then a uh, insertion operator num so this will print the value that you have entered as the num value is a even number similarly here the number is an odd number 
So let's go ahead and check this whether this actually works. I'll just compile and run it again. Okay, so it printed even odd program and it is asking to enter a number. So I'll first enter 4. So as you can see, it executed the if part. That is this part. And it's giving me the number 4 is an even number. So what happened is when I entered 4, it checked 4 mod 2 equal equal to 0. Now we know 4 is directly di completely divisible by 2. So the result that is the remainder would be 0. Hence this condition was true and it executed this part and this else part was not executed. Okay, so as you can see, I got the output as the number 1 is odd. So I entered an odd number and it gave me the corresponding output. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the concept of even odd program and the logic behind how to find whether a number is even or odd in C++ programming. If you have any doubts or queries, you can always put them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the next video. Peace.